Hello, my name is Linda Zadick, and I am the Assistant Dean for Student Services in the Frederick Hessler Student Success Center at the Mike Illich School of Business. On behalf of all of us at the Illich School, I would like to thank you for joining us from wherever you may be in the world as we celebrate the achievements of our 2021-2022 scholarship recipients and the ongoing generosity of our scholarship donors. At this point, I would like to ask our Dean, Robert Forsyth, to offer some welcoming remarks and introduce our special guest speaker, Bob. Thank you, Linda, and thank you all for joining us as we honor the achievements of some of our most outstanding students and the transformational impact of our scholarship donors. Philanthropy is the difference between a good business goal and a great one, and our new state-of-the-art home is a testament to that. Although Mike and Marion Illich did not attend Wayne State, they invested $40 million in 2015 because they believe that we are an integral part of fueling the future of Detroit's business community. Thank you for investing in the next generation of business talent through your scholarship gifts. This year alone, you made it possible for the Illich School to award more than $500,000 in scholarship funds to 125 deserving students. For that, I sincerely thank you. At this time, we would like to have a few of this year's scholarship recipients speak a bit about the impact your generosity has had on them and their Wayne State experience. Hello everyone, my name is Shonda Stewart and I'm a marketing major here at the Mike Illich School of Business. I am honored and grateful to have received the Motor City Endowed Scholarship the Scullum Scholarship, and the Dennis Archer Foundation Scholarship. My journey to where I am now was a difficult one. Directly out of high school, I first attended Central Michigan University. My stay there was quite a short one. I didn't have enough financial help to be able to continue my education there, which caused me to drop out later that semester. The following semester, I attended Oakland University in hopes of continuing my education. Unfortunately, I still did not have enough financial help to continue my education at that university. I then took a year off from college to focus on working a job in hopes of being able to save up to go back to school. At that time, I was determined to finish my education. I later heard about the Mighty Illy School of Business here at Wayne State University. Before applying to Wayne State, I did my research on how Wayne State gives a lot of financial aid to its first year students. I find that to be amazing since I struggle to keep my foot into the door of a university for an entire school year. My first year at the Mike Illich School of Business was an amazing one. I had the pleasure of being a work study student in the IT department, which allowed me to connect with many people throughout the school. I have always been a shy person, but as a future business person, I knew I had to try to be more outgoing. Being at the Illich School has allowed me to meet new people, get hands-on experience, and become more comfortable with being an outgoing person. During my remaining time at the Illich School, I hope I can continue to meet more amazing people and get an even better understanding of how the business world works. The scholarships I have received have allowed me to be able to focus more on my studies rather than being stressed and consumed in a hectic school and work life. They have also allowed me to not become a statistic. I am finally a senior in college with zero student loan debt thanks to the generous alumni and friends who support the Mike Illich School of Business and its students. Once again, I would like to thank you for choosing me to be one of this year's scholarship recipients. I am very thankful to you all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Patrick Rowley and I am a senior at the Mike Illich School of Business. Since 2019, I've been working towards a dual degree in management and information systems management. I'm also a proud beneficiary of the Matthew J. Mona M. Simoncini Endowed Scholarship for 2021. In 2018, I received an undergraduate degree in business administration from Henry Ford College. While this was a significant achievement, I knew that my education was not yet finished, and I planned on transferring to a four-year university to finish a bachelor's degree. After doing some research to nearby universities, I was eventually inspired by my sister-in-law to transfer to Wayne State University after visiting the campus to view her dissertation for her PhD. I loved Wayne State's campus and the opportunity to visit Detroit on my trips to classes was definitely appealing. Additionally, the Mike Illich School of Business seemed to be one of the better business schools in the state. So I decided to transfer to Wayne State 
to obtain a degree in management. I began my first semester in fall 2019, commuting from Riverview, a town downriver from Detroit. I worked at a Kroger in Southgate to pay for my tuition, as well as being supported by my family, whom I love and appreciate very much, and taking student loans. My commute and work made it difficult to join communities and clubs on campus, which was only made worse in 2020 when the pandemic shut down the university as well as the country and increased the demands of my essential job. For the last year, I have been taking classes online, participating in lectures over Zoom, and working within virtual teams to complete group projects. This has certainly had its ups and downs. Classes have become more convenient, and I have saved a fortune on gas, but I have felt detached from my university. I have really only interacted with my classmates over WhatsApp since 2020, and it has been amazing to see the support we have given each other despite what is going on in the world and in the country. The way technology was being used for communication during the pandemic also made it clear how impactful online networks are to, community, to communities and to families. Streaming apps and services like Zoom and FaceTime keep businesses and families connected. I was inspired to add a second major to my degree, Information Systems Management. Once I finish my education, I hope to help bring people together through technology and to make it more user-friendly and easily accessible. I am extremely grateful to the scholarship donors who help students such as myself. The support I have been given has alleviated a great deal of stress and lifted a huge burden off myself and my family. The benefits I have received have freed me up financially enough to start looking for apartments near campus, which is finally opening up again for the fall semester. It is extremely exciting to tour apartments near campus, and I am looking forward to my final year as an undergrad. Your support will allow me to become more involved in campus, communities, and become more independent and take the next step in my life, finishing my education and moving out on my own. And in the words of my favorite author, Brandon Sanderson, from his book, Oathbringer, the most important step a person can take is the next step, always the next step. And because of, the people, and because of people like you, I can take mine sooner than later. Thank you so much for your support. Hello, students, faculty, and donors. My name is Miramal Kadari, and I'm currently pursuing a master's in business administration at the Mike Illich School of Business. Not long ago, I remember feeling accomplished, graduating from high school with a 4.27 GPA and 38 credit hours via dual enrollment and AP classes. I was nervous yet eager to start my journey at Wayne State University. Three years later, I graduated with my Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration with a GPA of 3.93. I was on the Dean's List every single semester and was an A-grade student taking graduate courses as an undergrad. I felt content but not fulfilled. Therefore, a short week after completing my bachelor's degree, I started my master's program and am expecting to graduate next year at the age of 21. My success and academic achievements stem from the unconditional support of my family and faculty. The Mike Illich School of Business has helped me tremendously, both financially and professionally. I've been blessed to have received four scholarships this year to help fund my MBA program. The 2021 Randy Paschke Endowed Scholarship in Accounting, the Wilfred Keene Memorial Endowed Scholarship, the Larry and Idell Weisberg Annual Scholarship, and the A-Grade Scholarship. These scholarships will lift my financial burdens and allow me to focus on my academics. I am now able to work less and study more. The faculty and advisors at the Mike Illich School of Business helped me turn my career aspirations into achievable goals. Thanks to the Wayne State Accounting Career Night and the Career Planning and Placement Office, I was able to secure a full-time position as a tax consultant at Deloitte after I complete my MBA and the CPA exam next year. If it was not for the opportunities presented to me by the Mike Illich School of Business and the generosity of its donors, I simply would not be where I am today. I am actually a first-generation college student with refugee parents. I am the first in the family to receive a master's degree the first future CPA, the first to receive four graduate scholarships. Being the first has numerous fears and challenges, but I know I can overcome them thanks to you. I am forever indebted to you and hope that one day I can pay this generosity forward. To my family, faculty, and donors, I would like to sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Shonda, Patrick, and Miriam. It is now my pleasure to introduce today's keynote speaker. Amanda Ward. Amanda is a two-time Illich School graduate, having earned her bachelor's degree in 2002 and her MBA in 2006. 
She is now a certified public accountant and a partner at Plant Moran. A scholarship recipient herself, Amanda now contributes to the various scholarships she benefited from during her days as a student, the Richard H. and the Ida Austin Endowed Scholarship. Amanda has some thoughts to share on the enduring legacy of Richard H. Austin and the impact he has had on her, the field of accounting and even public service, especially here in the state of Michigan. Amanda? I recently had the opportunity to read the October 1969 Journal of Accountancy article by Bert Mitchell entitled, The Black Minority in the CPA Profession. At the time of the article, there were more than 100,000 CPAs in the U.S., but there were only 136 that were African-American. The article largely emphasized the need for large-scale efforts to increase participation of minority groups in the profession. Now let's fast forward. In an April 2021 Journal of Accountancy podcast hosted by Courtney Vine, she revealed that a 2019 AICPA survey found that only 2% of CPAs were African-American and only 1% of partners of CPA firms were African-Americans. Within the span of my career, I've learned that in order to affect change, one must be intentional. And that is exactly what Richard Austin came to be, intentional. In Teresa Hammond's book, White Collar Professional, African American Certified Public Accountants Since 1921, she explains that Austin was intentional about his efforts in increasing the number of CPAs for 25 years. It was his firm, the only firm in Michigan to provide a knowledge base and an experience to African Americans' prospective CPAs. Mr. Austin's intentional efforts made him a pioneer he offered a solution to the lack of minority CPAs, which continues today through the Richard H. and Ida Austin Endowed Scholarship Fund. Please know that I am eternally grateful to have been an Austin Scholarship recipient. Not only did the scholarship contribute to my financial needs, this scholarship, unbeknownst to me at the time, has also contributed to my professional needs. There are two important lessons that I learned from Mr. Austin's life that have shaped my career. One, I need to have a standard of excellence, which includes not making excuses. And two, I need to be intentional about making a difference in the lives of others. What I've become keenly aware of is that Mr. Austin didn't make excuses. He was going to excel and be excellent despite the circumstances. Despite the fact that Mr. Austin didn't intentionally set out to be a CPA, he did set a standard of excellence for himself, earning the highest GPA in his CAS Tech graduating class of 350. Although he wanted to be and pursue skilled trades, he increased his knowledge and expertise of accounting, which included attending college courses in the evening. Yet while Mr. Austin was top of his class in accounting, he was African-American and no one would hire him. Nonetheless, we know his story. In 1941, Mr. Austin became the first African-American CPA in Michigan and was the partner in the firm Austin, Washington, and Davenport. He also served the community outside his accounting firm. Richard Henry Austin was elected delegate to Michigan's Constitutional Convention in 1961 through 1962. Following in 1966, he was elected Wayne County Auditor, after which in 1970, he was elected as Michigan's 39th Secretary of State, the nation's first African-American Secretary of State, and the first African-American to hold the statewide elected office in Michigan. He was re-elected as Secretary of State five times. What a legacy. What an example Richard Austin is for each of us. My prayer and hope are that I will continue to uphold a standard of excellence while striving to be intentional and in making a difference in the lives of others. Since graduating from the Illich School of Business, I began my career with Plant Moran and became a CPA. While at Plant Moran, I was one of the founding members of the African American Staff Resource Group. In addition, on July 1, 2018, I was elected partner at Plant Moran where I currently serve as the firm's single audit industry technical leader 
and a member of the AICPA's Governmental Audit Quality Center's Executive Committee. Scripture reminds me, from everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. I have an obligation to continue the legacy of Richard Henry Austin, and I do so by annually contributing to the Austin Fund. The education and mentoring that I received from the Illich School of Business has helped to shape my career and my life. As I continue to be intentional about making the difference in the lives of others, I will continue to support the Richard H. and Ida Austin Endowed Scholarship Fund. It's important that as a recipient, I continue to pay homage to Mr. Austin's outstanding career, life of service, and to pay it forward to support future accounting professionals. As we all continue to look for change, whether it's increasing the number of African-American CPAs or otherwise, who will take the lead? Will it be you or you or even me? Thank you. Thank you for those inspirational words, Amanda. Before I recognize our scholarship recipients, I would like to join Dean Forsyth in extending my personal and heartfelt thanks to our generous scholarship donors. Your contributions are significant and they are truly changing the lives of our students. I would also like to thank one other group of individuals without whom this day would not be possible the parents and family members who have supported these exceptional students throughout their lives. Whether you are watching alongside your student today or circumstances have kept you physically apart, you are greatly appreciated. Without further delay, I would like to introduce you to our 2021-2022 Mike Illich School of Business Scholarship recipients. John and Ethel Anthony Endowed Scholarship, Justin McPhail, Catherine Ray, Gary and Catherine Armstrong Endowed Scholarship, Sarah Badari, Ariel Coburn, Zachary Dixon, Richard H. and Ida Austin Endowed Scholarship in Accounting, Fernanda Elevardo, Ebony Markham, KJ Uden, Maxine Bogman Endowed Scholarship, Stephen Maderich, Beta Alpha Psi Endowed Scholarship, Amanda Clark, Stanton P. Bachnick Memorial Scholarship, Ali Hader, D. Michael and Patricia Brady Annual Scholarship, Sammy Saeed, Mary Ann Brandt Endowed Scholarship, Aneri Patel, Lawrence and Carlin Braun Endowed Scholarship, Hannah Bates, Samantha Curry, Theodore Buckwick Endowed Scholarship, Eric Bean, Budco Endowed Scholarship, Internship Program for Marketing and Management Students, Gracie Carnes, Robert Cook Bushnell Endowed Scholarship, Nurik Sahin, Rebecca Joy Butler Memorial Endowed Scholarship, Nicole Ede, Helen M. Butts Endowed Scholarship, Eric Bean, Compass Group Limited, Paul and Barbara Shemansky Scholarship, Sierra Jinkerson, Connolly Family Endowed Scholarship, Abbas Jaber, Christina Johnson, Nancy Christian Cox Endowed Scholarship, Darren Meredith, Shanita Nelson, Amber Threat, Cooper Williams Grosskloss, Rachel Yang, Maya Young, Douglas and Joanne C. Diaz Memorial Scholarship, Krista Ebert, Megan Farnick, Jeremy Flores, Luciano Forasiro, William Holly, Brian Meek, Grace Tarasian, Delta Nu Alpha Foundation, Jackson Thomas Grisky, Amala Hadabovic, Ishpreet Carr, 
Milani Marie Renta Villaneva, Jack Demmer Ford Incorporated Endowed Scholarship, Nicole Ede, Charles E. Dover Endowed Scholarship, Sammy Saeed, DT Energy Foundation Endowed Scholarship, Antonio Truitt, Larry A. and Ann Edwards Endowed Scholarship, Ashley Badgett, Marie Farrell Donaldson Endowed Scholarship, K.G. Uden, Sydney and Jewel Fields Endowed Scholarship, Felicia Jones, Financial Executives International Award, Undergrad Student Troy Williams, Graduate Student Amanda Price, Sam and Leonard Fink Memorial Scholarship, Maz Hamed, Andrew Gilmore, Geronda Williams, Melinda Yang, Irvin H. Frank Memorial Scholarship, Gabina Pashmore, Raymond Jenick Endowed Scholarship, Felicius Mandavista Mayer, Mary Kay and Paul A. Glantz Family Endowed Scholarship, Sophie Gerhard, Carol Hardaway, Kimberly Schumer, Luciano Schabo, Goomer Angelochi Annual Scholarship, Alicia Searles, Charles and Catherine Hagler Endowed Scholarship in Public Relations, Imani Kenefik, Alec Milanowski, Jack A. and Betsy I. Ham Endowed Scholarship, Anthony Carabelli, Corinne Forrest, Nicholas Frontera, Miriam Pola, David Handelman Endowed Scholarship, Sierra Jinkerson, Lisa Higgins Hussman Foundation Annual Scholarship, Morgan Bean, T. Norris and Vivalor Hitchman Endowed Scholarship, Brianna Childers, Harris Colon, Sirletta Fletcher, Mihaklin Grewal, Saeed Hussein, Kylie McAuley, Simeon Piev, Jessica Poli, George R. Husband Scholarship, Ramonte Young. Marjorie and Maxwell Josphy Foundation Endowed Scholarship, Juliana Ashriff, Austin and Harriet Cantor Endowed Scholarship, April Ayala Rodriguez, Manuel Lomeli Borages, Rosella Nidre, Aisha Yandon, Mildred and Charles K. Endowed Scholarship, Samantha Kaufman, Comfort Kunubi, Wilford Keen Memorial Scholarship, Michael Azad, Miriam Akudari, Chantel Caven, Garrett Culver, Ferris Ganim, Alexandra Hollick, Allison Uber, Mary Thompson, Justin Yeem, Carl M. and Sandra A. Crampert Memorial Endowed Scholarship, Christian Dorsey, Anna Percy, Jack Kuzminski Memorial Endowed Scholarship, Julia Andre, Joseph Beydoun, Sage Carlson, Maboub Jahid, Max Aurora. Lear Corporation Climbing the Ladder Annual Scholarship, Marissa Lassia, Ellen H. Leach and Catherine J. Fitzpatrick Endowed Scholarship, Prohensit Rani, E. David McDonald Endowed Scholarship, Stephen Maderich, Dr. Ferdinand Mauser Endowed Scholarship, Alina Khan, Mauser Harmony with Nature Foundation Scholarship, Elaine Elliott, 
Meritor Incorporated Annual Scholarship, Janine Nelson. Mike Illich School of Business Alumni Association Endowed Scholarship, Siobhan Khan, Megan Krieger. Mike Illich School of Business Alumni Association Endowed Scholarship for Emerging Leaders. Elizabeth Amzako Tipika, D'Angelo Harris, Mohammed Islam, Norwin Islam, Rihad Khalik. Mike Illich School of Business Faculty and Staff Annual Scholarship. Elizabeth Grabowski, Ifra Mahumad, Pradeep Nagapa, Martin Nelson, Aniri Patel, Amy Reinhardt. Mike Illich School of Business Scholarship, Mustasin Ahmed, Rico Ewitz, Michael Fickney, Paige Hansen, Gada Mozib, Mal Nushi, Harini Patel, Ryan Soden, Cindy Staples, Bailey Stewart. Motor City Endowed Scholarship, Chanda Stewart. Bruce E. Mulliken Scholarship, Cora Hager. Robert H. Naftali Endowed Scholarship, Melinda Yang. Marie L. Nash Memorial Scholarship, Mariah Brown. Amira Hadar, Kiana Mateen. Randy Paschke Endowed Scholarship in Accounting, Miriam Alkdari. Plant Moran PLLC Annual Scholarship, Jay Solano. Byron Oliver Pond III Annual Scholarship, Gilius Janesco, Victoria Perez, Brian Sage. Margaret J. Pond Endowed Scholarship for MBA students, John Kalarchik, Adriana Walk. Bruce and Rosalie Rosen Endowed Scholarship, Ashley Badgett. RSM US Scholarship, Ebony Markham. Robert L. Ryan Endowed Scholarship, Jermaine Kuasi. Charles and Sandra Schultz Endowed Scholarship, Omar Farouk, Abigail Haas, Casey Saluski, Isha Tawari, Kyle Walagora, Alex and Zena Serafin Endowed Scholarship, Mitchell Shabbat, Serta Rustacraft, Eugene and Minion Craft Family Endowed Scholarship, Shima El Hali, Altafu Hasib, Joanne McClurkin, Sergio Munaz, Tanisha Smith, Matthew J. and Mona M. Simoncini Endowed Scholarship, Patrick Raleigh, Vina Saleh, Kevin Shihu, Brenda Silva, Slocum Foundation Scholarship, Christian Kammer, Alina Khan, Chanda Stewart, Evmorphia Tarakis, Mr. and Mrs. Rudolph Stepien Endowed Scholarship, Janae Lodwick, David A. Stolberg Endowed Scholarship, Anna Logu, Brian A. Sturtz Annual Scholarship Fund, Mary Thompson, Team L. Long Endowed Scholarship in Business, Fatim Al Halabi, Klaus Luja, Ranjan and Susan Talang Endowed Scholarship, Emily Barrett, UHY Advisors Michigan Annual Scholarship, John Lafferty, Donald O'Keefe, Antonio Truitt, William H. Volts Endowed Scholarship, 
Ola Albatati, Adrian Russell, James L. and Marguerite A. Way Endowed Scholarship, Hassan Alatabi, Louise C. Wisman Endowed Memorial Scholarship, Felicia Jones, Thomas A. Zatina Endowed Scholarship, Gabina Passmore. Scholarships directly help our students experience the bright future that comes with a Wayne State business degree. We are grateful for all the generous donors who have established and supported Illich School of Business scholarships, including the following that will be awarded at a later date. Automotive Industry Action Group Annual Scholarship. Lawrence and Marcia Brown Annual Scholarship. Rebecca Joy Butler Study Abroad Endowed Scholarship. Delta Sigma Pi Gamma Theta Endowed Scholarship. Ford Motor Company Scholarship. Denise D. Hammond Scholarship. William L. and Lori Hurls Annual Scholarship. Ben and Sylvia Manlove Scholarship. Thomas T. and Elizabeth C. Tierney Scholarship. That concludes our program. Before we go, I'd like to thank our Mike Yulich School of Business Scholarship donors and congratulate our 2021-2022 scholarship recipients one more time. Thank you.